Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed your Easter. I definitely enjoyed mine. My sister came home for the weekend and I finally got a chance to sit down with her for the first time since like Christmas break, so that was amazing. Um, today we're jumping into chapter 7 of the book of John and honestly I feel like we should be a lot farther in than we are. I feel like I've been doing this forever and in reality it's only been a week. Without further ado, let's jump into John. The first verse that stuck out to me was John 7:7. 7, 7. This verse says, The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify that the world is evil. If we testify for Christ, if we stand up against the world, saying that the world and everything that it stands for is evil, the world is going to hate us. Jesus tells us multiple times throughout the Gospels that if we stand with Christ, we are standing against the world. And the world doesn't like that. And I think that's one of the hard things, especially about being in high school and wanting to be open and vocal about your faith, because you know that there are going to be people that are going to be mean and going to be hurtful and not going to appreciate anything that you have to say about Christ. But Jesus warns us that being a Christian is not all fun and games all the time. People are going to hate us. People are going to be mean. People are going to be rude. But we know that in the end, we are standing up for Christ, and we know that he'll stand up for us if we testify for him. John 7, 16 through 19 really stuck out to me, but the verse in the middle, um, verse 17, is the one that I want to read and discuss a little. If anyone chooses to do God's will, he must find out whether my teaching comes from God or whether I speak on my own. Jesus said this while he was teaching at the feast, and all of the Jews and Gentiles around him and the Greeks were all wondering, is this man the Christ? He says all these things, but he's never had a proper teaching in the scriptures. He doesn't know what he's saying, so can he be right? And Jesus is talking and says this statement, you know, if you, if anyone chooses to do God's will, he must find out whether my teaching comes from God or whether I speak on my own. And I think that this is a challenge to those who are listening to him and to us. If you think that something that a preacher or um, an online speaker or someone says something that you wonder if it's true about Christ or not, that's when diving into the scriptures and understanding what the Bible says can really help you. One of my favorite Sunday school teachers always told us that you need to learn it for yourself. You can't just take everything that a preacher says, no matter how wonderful of a preacher he is. Sometimes in sermons we misspeak, and sometimes we mean to say one thing, but we accidentally say the other thing. And if you take everything that anyone says as truth, but don't know it for yourself, you're not going to be able to defend yourself if something that you learned was wrong, but you have to learn and understand what the Bible says in order to know who Christ is. And it's when we deepen our relationship with Christ and we deepen our understanding in the Word that we fully can understand Jesus' challenge in this message. If you want to believe and if you want to do God's will, you have to understand the difference between what it is God says and what it is someone else might say, try to convince you that that's what God says. As always, please let me know what verses stuck out to you, and I still encourage you to share this with a friend. I really am doing this for everyone and hoping that it lights a fire in one person's heart. If you guys will continue to pray with me that this is a challenge that is taken seriously and a challenge that is enjoyed and even beneficial. Stay beautiful.